Yellow Lockers, welcome back to another video with me, Larissa. So today we are going to be going over my April budget and my May budget goals. <laughs> Before we get started, just a disclaimer, if talking about money during this time gives you anxiety or stresses you out, please feel free to click out of this video and don't watch it <laughs> until you feel better. I am a student, so my situation is very different just because I do live off of my student loans, so I do still have an income. So just be aware of that before I dive in. Let's get into it. So April, besides everything that's going on, budget-wise was a good month for me. I did a five week budget just because of how the Thursdays lined up and I spent under in all of my expenses just due to, you know, not driving around as much so not spending much on gas, also just like not going out to eat or any of my usual stuff. So I saved, I was under in my consumables, other and living expenses categories significantly. <laughs> So that was really exciting. Eh, I guess consumables I was still pretty high just because I've been trying to buy a couple weeks worth of food just in case like things keep getting out of stock because they do, unfortunately. But anyway, since I was under in all my expenses, I was over in all of my savings goals, which was fantastic. For example, my slush fund, I budgeted I think like 150, yeah and I exceeded it by over two and a half times. So that was really exciting. And that was just pretty much because I wasn't spending hardly anything in my other category for this month, which was great. Um, another thing I mentioned, I believe last month is I switched to paying off my car loan instead of my student loans, just because all the interest rates are on a freeze right now and I, only have I think 10,000 left to pay on my car whereas compared to my student loans those are gonna be a long time so I decided to switch to that and focus my attention to paying that off but again that's only about $75 a month something I did splurge on this month was my supplements they're the supplement company that I use Alani New they came out with some new protein bars and um, some more whey protein and some pre-workout and I really wanted to give it a go so I did spend that money on that however my school due to them being in the relief care act ended up sending us money so I actually just spent that money on supplements I know it should have went to savings but I also don't feel guilty about it just because I have been saving so much and so well and I kind of just wanted to have something to spend on for me. That's how I justify it. I think that was it for this month. Yeah. Alright, so my May goals for this month because it's gonna be May. I'm so sorry. Probably gonna get copyrighted because I sounded just like Justin Timberlake. So. May is a four week budget. Something that is changing is I dropped my other budget down to $50 a week because I am finally going to get Disney Plus, but I also wanted to get Hulu and they have a Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN bundle. And I would like to watch ESPN when, you know, sports become a thing again. And that ended up being I think 13 or $14 a month um, without tax. So I just figured I'd drop that down to $50 a week. I also increased my savings and slush fund goals. My savings goal, I want to save $400 this month, whereas my slush fund, I would like to have $300 put into that. Something very exciting, but also uh, still a long ways to go is I am 15% of the way to my savings goal, yay! Yes, so I am determined to save $9,000, which is about over three months worth of living expenses, just solely 
living expenses, not anything else for when I graduate. Ideally, I would like to have more than that, but that's my minimum savings goal is $9,000. I am 15% of the way there, which is exciting. Um, also in mid-May, I will be receiving my tuition refund, which I will take you guys through on how I divvy that up next month. So look forward to that. Otherwise, this is kind of just a short little video today. Um, please feel free to like this video if you find it helpful, if you would like me to dive into more numbers based. I just don't know how you guys feel about that with the current situation. Also, subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I do upload other videos such as this one. And also just a shout out to my fitness channel. I have a lot of home workouts there currently if you would like to check those out and keep busy. I would love to hear from you guys, so comment down below. Let's do what has been your favorite thing to watch on TV, which Netflix, Hulu, movie, anything. I would love to hear your suggestions. Remember to respect others, respect yourself, and do something amazing with your day. Okay, thanks, bye. Thank you.